This is the Deep Cool Captain 240EX, very good looking liquid cooler, and this is the Scythe Biako, an air cooler which is also good looking. These are two very different products with very different prices. The Captain 240EX is a 240mm liquid cooler and the Biako is a 130mm air cooler. The Captain sells for around $80 and the Biako sells for around $24. That's different, but they share one purpose that's cooling your computer's processor. Obviously the Captain 240EX will perform better, but will it perform way better? Or will the underdog, the Scythe Biako, be able to keep up? I know this is an unfair comparison, but it's for experiment purposes. I like experiments just like I'm sure a lot of you do. I'm gonna keep this comparison pretty straightforward and not go too in depth. Like I said earlier, these two products are completely different. I'm gonna compare their temperatures in everyday tasks, and some intense ones with the cooler's prices in mind. And I'm also going to compare them by opportunities and limitations these coolers give you. I'll talk about that later. Alright, so let's begin with the computer specifications. This is a PC, of course. It has an Intel Core i7-7700K not overclocked, an ASUS Z270 TUF Mark II motherboard, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM, a GTX 1070, a 500 gig Samsung 860 EVO SSD, and a 1 terabyte WD Blue hard drive. For the fans, I have two NZXT 120mm fans in the front as intake, one Corsair ML120 Pro on the back, and one 140 Pro on top, both for exhaust. For the Deep Cool Captain 240EX, I used Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste, and for the Biako, I used the paste that came included with the cooler. All of that is inside of the NZXT S340 Elite case, and and the room temperature is about 72 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 22 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind that I'm comparing a $24 air cooler with an $80 liquid cooler. Let's start with the Captain 240EX's temperatures. Oh, by the way, the radiator was mounted in the front of the case with the fans as intake. On idle, with nothing running in the background, the temperatures were 39 degrees Celsius on average. On Cinebench, the temperatures were 80 degrees at their highest, while rendering a 4K video on Adobe Premiere Elements 15, the temperatures rose as high as 88 degrees Celsius. On Unigen Heaven, the temperatures kept the cool 52 degrees, while playing Far Cry 4 at 1440p resolution with high settings, the temperatures were around the mid-60s. Performing the same tests with the Scythe Biako, on idle temperatures, the cooler was around 40 degrees Celsius, on Cinebench, the highest temperature reached was 81 degrees Celsius. For the rendering tests, on Adobe Premiere Elements 15, I rendered a full HD video. I know I rendered a 4K video on the Deep Cool cooler, but the Scythe would have overheated with 4K. So when rendering a full HD video, the highest temperature was 92 degrees Celsius. That editing software only uses the CPU. It doesn't let you use the GPU for extra performance. So the CPU is going to be heavily stressed. On Unigen Heaven, the temperatures were around 60 degrees Celsius. For Far Cry 4, on the Biako, I played it in full HD, ultra settings, and the temperatures were also in the mid 60s. For most, if not all of these tests, the Deep Cool Captain 240EX maintained better temperatures than the Scythe Biako, which was expected. It also had better temperatures while rendering a video in 4K as opposed to full HD on the Biako, and maintained the same temperatures as the Biako in Far Cry 4, although it was playing in 1440p resolution as opposed to full HD. But the other tests were not a complete blowout like I would have expected. Idle temperatures were pretty much the same. Cinebench had both coolers at around 80 degrees Celsius, which is very surprising. Unigen Heaven was better on the 240EX, but it wasn't bad on the Biako. What's crazy is that the Biako is $24 and the 240EX is $80, like I said earlier. I would say that performance is not worth three times the price of the Biako. Other differences between these two are the opportunities and limitations they have. If you have a mini ATX case, in most instances, you can't use a 240mm radiator. The Scythe Biako fits in pretty much any case. With liquid coolers, you also run the risk of it leaking, which is rare, but can happen. Both of these coolers look cool in my opinion, but nothing beats the Captain 240X. That pump just looks perfect, and it has a white light inside. You pair that up inside a case with some RGB, and you have yourself a beauty. A big limitation with the Biako that isn't present with the Captain is the resolution of things. In one of the tests, I rendered a video in 4K with the Captain, but only in Full HD with the Biako. That's because the Biako wouldn't have been able to handle those temperatures. But let's be realistic here. The Biako performed very well in unfamiliar territory. I say unfamiliar because the Biako isn't even supposed to be here. It's a $24 cooler meant for budget builds, not $1500 computers. The Captain 240EX has to perform better in my opinion if it's gonna make it inside a PC like this one. For the price of $80, I would say it's not worth the money. I would not feel comfortable overclocking my CPU with either of these coolers. They just wouldn't be able to handle the heat. So to conclude this video, 
Is the Scythe Gecko a hidden gem? A monster of a cooler in a little package? Or is the Deep Cool Captain 240EX just underperforming? Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Please make sure to leave a like, a comment, and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.